Okay, so occasionally, not often, occasionally you're going to be looking at uh, a problem where you're going to have to compare the slopes. Sometimes you might even have to compare the y-intercepts, but we're going to focus on the slopes here of two different relationships or two different equations. Um, so which slope um, is greater between these two equations? You go find the slope from each of them and you can compare. And easily you can see that y equals 3x plus 2 has the greater slope. 3 is bigger than 2. And it's not always going to be like that. You're going to have to go and, and dig into your, your bag of tricks of how to get the slope. So here on the second one, we've got a standard uh, equation here. And over here, we've got an xy table. and We've got to get the slope from both of these relationships. So how do we do it on standard? Well, you know how to turn it into a slope-intercept form. And once you get that slope-intercept form, you can quickly see that uh, the slope sticks out right here is negative 3 fourths. And then as far as the table over here, well, you know how to get uh, the slope. That's just y minus y over x minus x. I'm not going to bore you with the details of plugging that all in, but you'd quickly see that the slope is 2. So what's bigger, 2 or negative 3 fourths? Uh, easily 2 is bigger. So um, this relationship over here has the greater slope. Okay. Now, uh, when we take a look at this, and just so you know, I hate these um, graphs like this, but occasionally they're going to give you a graph and it's not going to have a good grid on there. So this is what we do. Um, first off, we do the easy part. Take a look at this table over here, okay? Um, this is a, a something that's not related to it. Um, it's not going to be Bill's uh, barbershop. Just think of this as Don's coffee shop or something. So this is one relationship over here with the table. Here's the graph. Go get the slope. So y minus y over x minus x, you quickly find out the slope is 10,000. And then on the graph, uh, we've got some different ways we can look at it. You can see that this first point is over 1, and it's lined up exactly with 60,000. So, um, okay, that, that'd be a good place to start. And then look at the other point. It's right over 4 years, and it lines up with 90,000. And what you might have to do is you might have to actually take your pencil and sketch in these lines uh, up and down and left and right, so that way you can see where these points are at on these these graphs that I can't stand. And once you do that, then you can see, hey, um, you went up from the first point to the second point thirty thousand dollars. You went from sixty thousand to nine thousand, so we went up thirty thousand, and then we went over to the right from one to four. So that's a difference to the right of going three, and so thirty thousand over three is ten thousand. So neither of these has a greater slope. They're actually equal, okay? And there's one other way we can do this. Um, we can actually go back to the graph, and we can see that this point right here is right over 1, so we'd put 1 in for the x, and it lines up to 60,000, so we'd put up a, a 60,000 for the y. And then we go and do the same thing for the other point. It's lined up right over 4 on the x value and 90,000 on the y value. And we take this xy table that we created from this graph to just do y minus y, over x minus x, and we'd find out the same thing. The slope is 10,000. So um, when you're comparing slopes, just go get all your slopes. Just don't forget the tricks that you need to get the slope.